I didn't think that I was going to be a jam maker. <laughs> I was just kind of like, oh, sure, I'll try that. And we went. A woman that I knew made jam for a couple restaurants in Calgary. So I got to know her and she said to me, do you want to take over my jam contracts because I don't want to do them anymore? And she knew I had a cooking background. And I said, yes, but I don't know how to make jam. <laughs> so she came in and taught me. Uh, and that's when we did like the, the pail or the uh, pots full of jam. And uh, from there, I just kind of started making the jam for the restaurants. And then they asked for some retail sized jars and then I started making the farmer's markets and it kind of just snowballed. So the restaurant that um, I started with, they gave me free reign to just do whatever flavors I wanted, which is really what like made these recipes that are here today, is I just got to experiment all the time. And yeah, those are the ones that stuck. But basically, jam making from start to finish is like fruit that's heated to a certain temperature, uh, pectin, sugar, that's it. <laughs> just has to like mix and mingle, and as soon as it looks thick enough, you pick it up in jars. Yeah, we try to just do everything like really unique, uniquely flavored, because anybody can do strawberry or just blueberry, right? So it's all different. So there's strawberry cardamom, chocolate blueberry, black cherry chai, uh, earl grey lavender peach, vanilla rhubarb. That's my favorite. <laughs> I do do a jar recycling program. So actually the jars that Cameron was washing in the sink, those were all like taken back from somewhere. Um, so people can bring their jars, um, their glass jars back to me at markets, or there's a couple different retailers in Calgary that will take them back and then give them back to me. I would love to just take them all back, but yeah, can't do, can't do too much. Um, and then like, if we ever have compost, we compost it. Everything that can get recycled gets recycled. The impact of them supporting local, I don't know if they even know how much of a difference it makes to like just regular people. Like I'm employing me and two other people in there, and I wouldn't be able to do that if co-op wasn't on board. And it's just so cool to go into the store and see your stuff there. <laughs> My kids love it. <laughs> yeah.